What is up guys, it's Simon from PianoPig.com and in this week's video I'm going to give you a really handy exercise which is going to help develop your ability to improvise over tricky chord changes, especially those kind of neo-soul progressions where there isn't really a key centre. It can be really confusing and frustrating trying to solo over these if you've only ever shred using the blues scale before for example. But this exercise is a fantastic way to start getting your head around improvising over these more complex progressions. There's also a backing track to go along with this video to help you practice and you can download that for free via the link in the description below. And if you enjoy this video along with all the other videos on my channel, definitely have a think about becoming a member of the Piano Pig Academy and get access to all of my exclusive courses and personalized feedback. It really helps to support the channel and I'm sure you'll get a lot of value from it. So that's enough of me rambling, let's get stuck in with this awesome exercise. So the idea behind this exercise is to take two completely unrelated chords and just alternate between them while soloing over the top. This limitation allows us to really focus on coming up with melodic lines that fit over these non-diatonic chords. We're going to be using an F minor 9 and an E minor 9. And we're going to play these as rootless voicings with our left hand. Along to the backing track, that sounds like this. So we've got the chords out of the way, now we can just focus on the improvisation. And the thing with these types of progressions is that there is no key centre. So if we took the F minor blues scale for example, that would work over our F minor. But when we get to our E minor, it's just not going to work. So we need to change our choice of notes over each chord in order for it to work. And this is always the case with these types of progressions. So as a starting point, what you could try and do is use the F minor blues scale over the F minor 9 chord, but then over the E minor 9 you could change to an E minor blues scale. And what this exercise is going to allow us to do is practice weaving between these two different keys. The tricky part is effortlessly moving between them and getting your lines to flow smoothly during the key change. And this is what this exercise is all about. So let's try and come up with some lines that move between F minor and E minor using the blues scale for each chord. So have a play around with that and see if you can transition between those two scales smoothly. To develop this further, instead of using the blues scales for each chord, let's use the Dorian scale. So F Dorian looks like this, and E Dorian looks like this. And something that's really useful to do is look for common notes that are within both of these scales. So we've got F Dorian here. We can look at this and ask ourselves, which of these notes are also within our E Dorian? Well, F isn't, G is, A flat isn't, B flat isn't, C isn't, D is, 
E flat isn't, and we've already done F, which is not. So that leaves us with G and D. These notes will work over both of these chords. This is really useful to know as we can use this information in our lines to help glue everything together. So I'm gonna get the backing track on and have a go playing around with the Dorian scales over each chord, really focusing on linking the different scales together smoothly in my lines. I'll keep it simple. So I'm starting off with this octave G and we know this is in both of these chords, so it's gonna work really well. And this will also work with the D. So a few tips on how to make this work. One useful trick you can use is playing repeated patterns, but shifting them into different keys as needs be. It's just a really simple and effective way to navigate your way around these types of changes. I'll play a quick example using a bunch of repeated phrases. So I was using loads of repeated patterns in that example, and hopefully you can hear just how powerful they can be. Another really useful trick is using approach patterns to transition between the keys. This is a little more advanced, but I highly recommend getting some approach patterns under your fingers, as they are incredibly useful for a variety of different things. I actually have a video showing you a few of my favorite ones. I'll link that up at the top of the video now. As an example, let's take this classic approach pattern. So we're approaching this note, we start a whole step above, come to a half step above, a half step below, and then land on the target note. And we could use this to help come up with lines. For example, say we are on the E minor chord, and we're coming down the blues scale. We could use that approach pattern to smoothly transition back into the F minor. So altogether, that might sound something like this. So these approach patterns can be extremely useful in linking up lines and getting between the different scales. What I'm going to do now is just get the backing track on and have a play around. No limitations or anything and I'll make sure I use all of the ideas mentioned in this video. Hopefully this will give you some ideas and some material to play around with and practice. Here we go.
So that's what you should be playing around with. Start off simple with the blues scale of each chord, then maybe start using the Dorian scales and play around with common chord tones, repeated phrases, and approach patterns. If you spend a few hours practicing over this progression, focusing on all of these concepts, you'll find it becomes much easier to navigate your way around these wonky, non-key-centered neo-soul progressions. As I mentioned earlier, if you'd like that backing track to play around with, which I really recommend as it makes practicing so much more fun, you can download that for free via the link in the description. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that little notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content, and I will see you next time.